As we said, there's something new in the sky above America tonight, something we only expect to see in Afghanistan. Unmanned drones with cameras looking down on American neighborhoods and piloted by people who may just have learned how to do it the last couple of days. ABC senior national correspondent Jim Avila is in Grand Junction, Colorado, to show us the drones and how they are flying above parts of the U.S. They are the terrorism-fighting robot heroes of Afghanistan and Iraq, silent predators of midi skies, now launching a new American aerial assault at the hands of domestic law enforcement. This is a search for a child. Here in Grand Junction, Colorado, the Mesa County Sheriff's Department has one of the 300 FAA permits, many of them issued to law enforcement, to fly drones over U.S. soil. Fixed wing and rotary style drones that carry cameras to track suspects and back up patrol officers. Lift off. They are easy to fly, similar to a video game. These sheriff's deputies, who learned to fly them at a two day seminar, now deploy them from the trunk of their squad car. And that means you have control. So I have the stick. You have the control, yep. Even a novice like me can keep it aloft with two joysticks. This helicopter, using a heat-seeking camera, can search for a warm body when a child is missing in a big field. A very cold day with a, with a young child with disabilities, and uh, you have a large area to search. One of the strong points about the drone is that it can find people, people who are missing, people who are hiding. Even though you can't see me on the ground, to the drone, I'm purely visible. You see me? You see me now? Some worry about privacy issues. We don't want a situation where every time you walk outside your front door, you have to look up and wonder if, you know, some eye in the sky is tracking your every move. Hey, this is Ed Kaminsky. The use of drones is already expanding beyond law enforcement. This realtor in L.A. uses a helicopter drone to videotape majestic properties. NOAA uses its to monitor glaciers. But the Airline Pilots Association fears chaotic, dangerous skies if drone operators learn their craft in just days. So they're lobbying for full pilot training and radar so commercial pilots can see them. Without that, the airspace is not as safe. Without that, there's a potential to have a drone run into an airplane. But police agencies across the country are raring to fly convinced the technology that takes out al-Qaeda will soon track American criminals. Jim Avila, ABC News, Grand Junction, Colorado.